Real Chip TV, Chip Chatter, we're in week four of the season. The Eagles are one in three right now, but, you know, as we feel a few few little things, a few plays away from really, they could be three and one easily. Yeah, and uh, easily be three I, and one. I just started laughing a little if you go back and rewind the video and watch because this dude's <laughs> blooper central over here. So. Uh, yeah, it took me a little while to get this, get this video rolling, if you will. Real Chip TV, Chip Chatter. Week four. Let me start over. I don't know what I was gonna say. The date. I don't know why I was gonna do that. Gonna, <laughs> all right. All right. So we're gonna dive right into the chip chatter questions. Thank you so much for your questions this week. They were awesome. Hold on. Fantasy update. Jason Ark Deacon won by a point because of Stephen Hausch going yeah. Monday Night Football. He's four and zero. Kyler Galehart, the fake chip squad, four and zero, and they play week five this week. Four and zero teams. It is going down. We're three and one, and oh, Collins yeah. Atelli, congrats, you beat us to move to three and one. Those are the best four teams in the league right now. But everyone else still got a shot. Keep working. Keep yeah. working on your lineups. Um, that includes Paul Guggs. He's uh, he, he's zero and four right now, but he can improve it. And I've seen crazier things happen. I was really bad last year early, and I I, I fixed it up. So I got faith. And all these teams, the Blazing Bigfoots included. Let's do it. I'm going to be charged up about for the this, For those teams in the bottom, <clears throat> you got to do a better job, yeah, exactly. as Andy Reid would say. Yep. So let's go to the questions. At King underscore Joe 171 asks, how do, you, how do you think our offensive line will get better? How do I think our offensive line will get better? Jeez. Oh, that's the, probably the toughest. Why did you get put that one first? That's, that's the toughest yeah, question. I want to I wanna put you in the ringer, man. Uh, it comes down to execution. Uh, Chip Kelly, you know, helping these guys out, calling. You know, he's experimenting these first four weeks. Yeah. I mean, it's not losses aren't what we want, but you have to find out what you have from each guy, and I think they know now more than they did for the yeah. past four weeks. So, you know, it's, it's time to start calling the plays that they've executed well. Yeah. And if they can't execute anything, then, I mean, that's – yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter what play you call. If you're not, if you're not doing the things you have to do to exactly. make the play work, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, at NFL Eagles Daily asks, how, how do you think our offense could improve? Uh, I think uh, you start on the offensive line. That's really yeah. the biggest thing. And it's, it's not just the two new guards. Let's get mm -hmm. this clear. It's not. It's Jason Peters, who's playing like an old man, and this is, this is what we didn't want to see, but he's yeah. 34 now, and he's, and he's older. Happen, yeah. And he, he's a Hall of Fame player, but... You know, not everybody is going to excel at their top level of play in the, into their mid thirties. It just doesn't happen all the time. He's banged up every game. He's on and off the field, and that's a that's a problem in itself. Yeah. Jason Kelsey's not playing the, that well at all. Yeah. Um, he's you know, it just looks like he's like lost out there. Maybe it is the two new guards that he's has to deal with making up for their mistakes. And he's yeah. thinking too much, but for that, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. um, the best lineman we have right now is Lane Johnson, and he's a third year player. So that yeah. that right there is a problem, and that's what you got to do is fix that offensive line. But it's yeah. God, it's gonna take a lot to see what we can do with that. You know what I say? I say you know for the play calling, it doesn't matter. They're not catching passes, and they're not just block your guy, catch yeah. the ball. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter what play you're calling. Yeah. These guys are wide open, yeah. dropping passes. These yeah. guys aren't blocking. Guys, if yeah. you don't block your guy, it yeah. doesn't matter what running exactly. play you call. Exactly. So no, it doesn't. Yeah. At Nate Dorley asks, if someone from the future came and told you the Eagles won the Super Bowl this year, what would you guess be the biggest reason why they did? I love that question. That's good. Yeah, that would have won last week. That would have won. That would have won. That's a great question. Oh, uh, well, we got a shirt for you, Nate. You're every every week you're yeah. uh, you're dedicated with this stuff stuff. So yeah. um I would I would say it's because by miracle, our offensive line tightened up. We got hot down the stretch. Sam Bradford, you saw a little what he could do in that second half throwing deep. Hmm. He's the uh, only quarterback this season to throw three passes to for 39 or more yards to three different receivers. Bam. Bam. Stat. Stat of the night. For yeah, Sam that Bradford. is the stat so of the night. You're seeing this dude get better and better. Um, I, I honestly loved what I saw from him on those deep passes. And honestly... It's a problem because then he's he was still missing on some short passes, still missing on some other passes, and guys are dropping balls. When they put all that together, the deep ball, they get the run game, even if the run game is just all yeah. right. This yeah. can become a team yeah. that's powered by I a mean. passing offense if we can be efficient and catch balls when we need to catch them. And it's not just the young guys, it's Darren Sproles. So if you get this thing tightened up, that's the reason. I mean, you have to just start executing. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Um. At Mr. Lou 66 asks, why isn't Sam Bradford able to audible? Sam Bradford is able to 
dissect the play. He, I mean, look, maybe that is that's a good question. Honestly. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, he's able to dissect the play and and make judgment on what, what there is. To, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's not allowed the audible. I, I'm trying to think <laughs> of a way that yeah. maybe in some situations he is. But that's a great question because yeah. because um, you know I haven't seen much of it, and yeah. honestly, that's. That's a stumper, honestly. Yeah. I, there's no real... It, but if you think real, about have our quarterbacks really audible in the Chip Kelly offense, I don't know exactly. No, really. no, yeah, exactly. They, there's yeah. really not been much pre-snap reading, and they, they try to go so fast, and that's the real reason. Yeah. But, man, that's, that's a stumper. That's a great yeah, question, man. too. Sure lose 66. Good job, yeah, man. Full of, full of really good questions yeah. here. Um, um, you know, we got some new players this week asking time. questions, so it's nice. Um, at Aaron Freddy 34 asked, starting to think down the road here, is... Is O line our number one draft choice? Yeah, um, you know yeah. I don't need to look into the next off season or anything. I think you got to go into free agency, maybe build the, the line if there's anyone available. I know Marshall Yonda's thirty one yeah. and he's going to be available. Do we want another old lineman or, or yeah. whatever? But he's he's one of the top guards in the game right now. Um, I like I like sign a guy, yeah. draft a guy. I think, That's I, think I like. Yeah, I think That's I think I like. we draft more than one guy. I think yeah. we can draft a guy in the second and the third, yeah. uh, or or the first and the third, or yeah. maybe you know it may be in the fifth. Yeah. You got to get get bodies in here and see yeah. what they uh, see what they can do. Yeah. Um, at Jay Galgo seventy four asked, do we win a Super Bowl with Chip Kelly or no? Yes. Yes, I agree. Um, at Kyle underscore Hack and I o six five one. Do we really need DeMarco Murray when we do well with Ryan Matthews and Darren Sproles? Yeah, we do. Um, we haven't seen DeMarco Murray uh, break out. I mean, maybe he would have against the Jets. The blocking seemed to be very efficient in the first half. So uh, at the end of the day, I don't yeah. think it's really the running back. I think they're all talented. Yeah. I just think that you need to just, first of all, like Chip Kelly said, and I agree with this, hmm. We had 51 plays against the Redskins. We would like to be running more plays. That means stay on the field on third down, yeah. which means create better plays on first and second down. He alluded to play calling there yeah. to, to make it rather than second and 11, yeah. second and four, yeah. second and five. Yeah. And then you have an easier third down, yeah. just unless you lose yards. Yeah. And, and you have to gain positive yardage. And I think the running backs... Mm-hmm. If they can get that going, right. I think all three of them will have success. Yeah, maybe maybe pass on first down. You know, get get like a five six you know yeah. yard completion and make it easier it to run on second down. It's yep. easier to pass on first. So, mm-hmm. um, at that underscore guitarist underscore guy, how much faith do you have in this offense for the rest of the season? That's it. Yeah, I, I thought you were gonna keep going. No, I, I um, that was really weird. I paused. There. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Okay. Um, the faith in the, in the offense. I I know I I know who our coach is and and I believe in him and um, I think that I, I I like what I'm seeing from the quarterback and I think that I do. Yeah. Uh, we're, I know we're being a dead horse here, but seriously, guys, get, just block your guy, catch the ball. Yeah. And it's really that simple. Yeah. It does not matter what play you call. If you're not doing that, yeah, it's not F- gonna F- win. Football is not. Oh, great. and make your field goals. How about yeah, that? Yeah, make yeah, your field yeah, goals exactly. that college kickers could be making. Exactly. All right. exactly. Um, at um, at Zay asked, do you do you think that they make any moves to improve this team, such as trades or bring someone from free agency in? I'm talking do, about this season. Uh, unless injuries occur, which they are, so yeah. Yeah. maybe because of injury, but not if guys are getting healthy and back yeah. in. I think you have to rely on who you have right now. You can't just go pluck somebody off the street and expect mm-hmm. them to be better than the guys on the team. Yeah. I mean, it's the you know, yeah, it's it's just what it is, and um, I think I think the inexperience. Has shown a lot as well. Yeah. So, um, a guy who's been dangled out there. Uh, apparently, he. I don't think. I don't know if they trade him or not. But Roddy White, the yeah. receiver. Um, but I think. I mean, I should make a trade like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he's he's angry because he doesn't want to block. He said he doesn't want to effing block every play. So, yeah, yeah. So because Julio Jones and uh, Leonard Hankerson are getting more of the, the run uh, yeah. at receiver. Um, but yeah, I'd like like a veteran receiver maybe. Yeah, that'd be, that'd obviously, that's what I want. But like a veteran receiver that can make some more sure-handed catches. I thought maybe Miles Austin could be that guy, and he did have a nice catch, so maybe he can. But yeah. doesn't we need someone on like third downs that just like a sure-handed guy? And we've tried even Sproles is dropping yeah. the ball on yeah. that big third down. So yeah. it's it just I mean it, it stinks that uh, you know Chip kind of took a gamble on Miles Austin and it didn't really pay off because yeah. he's not really done much other than that one catch. So maybe that jump starts him, but yeah. yeah. We'll see. That's it. Um, last question from our friend in the UK, J- number one in the fantasy football league, Jason R. Deacon wow, 99. Wow, wow. Congrats. If, this is a great question. If you could enhance him, madnize the Eagles, fantasy trades essentially, you get you get one trade, mm-hmm. which player would you pick up and why? 
Do I? So I have to trade like I could trade like a bad, a brutal bad player. You're, you're trading a seventh round pick like in Madden, and okay. you're gonna get the best guy. So instead of trading the a best. seventh round pick, I kind of want to trade Josh Huff. <laughs> okay. You gotta step up, Josh. I have yeah. high hopes for you. Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking to you. As if you're watching uh, I'm, tra- I'm trading Caleb Sturgis. But, yeah, Sturgis. Just, okay. I'll let Kip Smith come back. And, yeah. Uh, I, I'd like, uh, you know, probably Julio Jones. <laughs> yeah, I'd be your pick? Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Duh. You get one like player. Rogers, or, player. Rogers or Andrew Luck. But if we're going up, because it's not fun when you have yeah. quarterbacks even yeah. to be in there. I'm, Other than quarterback, though, who would you take? I, I would say... I want Cam Newton, man. Cam I want Cam Newton. Newton. I want Cam Newton. Hey, you want Cam Newton yeah. instead of Andrew? I want, yeah, because you get you get that guy that's like 20... He's, was he 26? Yeah. And, he's, he, and he you, got, you got a quarterback for what about, five, six yeah, years. Yeah, Andrew. That would be sick in our offense. Rodgers and Luck. I want, I want to kill a Cam. I want to see what he can do. But, uh, all right, but with, with other than other than quarterbacks, I mean... Um, I want Megatron. Megatron? Yeah. Dude, he stinks. Dude, he's fine. He's got the that punch out. out. Dude, that, that could have happened to Come anyone. On. Have, all right, Des Bryant. No, Des Bryant's yeah, such Dez, a, he's Julio, such a jerk. Nah, I'd say Julio Jones. Julio Jones, and now we'll wrap it up. All right, that's it for Chip <laughs> Chat. He says Julio Jones. Hey, well, in the comments below, comment with your player and say why. Yeah, now, let's yeah. generate some discussion here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's a good topic. Yeah, Thank, yeah, you. Thank you. Thank well, you, Jason. If you could pick up one player other than quarterbacks in the league, who would you pick up and why? Nah, you can do quarterbacks too. It's cool. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. We'll see you on Sunday. Live from the link, actually. We'll be live, so we'll see you guys yes, on Sunday. Yes.